two of the most loyal players in the NBA just teamed up to try and form a dynasty. Damian Lillard has played 11 seasons with the Blazers, while Giannis has played 10 with the Bucks. Both stars have showed that they're loyal to the teams that drafted them. That is until the 2023 offseason. In July, Dame finally requested a trade out of Portland to get his first ring and tried to force his way to only one team, the Miami Heat. Meanwhile, Giannis sent a message to the Bucks front office two months later, saying that he'd only stay in Milwaukee as long as everyone's committed to winning another championship. I have to do whatever it takes for me to win, and if there's a better situation for me to win the Larry O'Brien, I have to take that better situation. With a player option looming in 2025, the Bucks heard Giannis loud and clear. They killed two birds with one stone by throwing away all of their remaining first round draft picks in Drew Holiday to go get Damian Lillard, which puts the Bucks back as one of the favorites to come out of the East. And they get revenge on the Heat by stealing a star that they desperately wanted for years. And most importantly, Giannis stays happy, at least for now. See, it was a bittersweet feeling for Dame and Blazers fans once the trade was made final. A few days before the trade was finalized, Dame actually wanted to stay in Rip City for another year. But Blazers GM Joe Cronin told him that there's no turning back. When he went live on IG a few days after the trade, Dame also went on to say this. It's my home, man. I'm for sure gonna live here. The last time a player who had second thoughts about leaving a team he called his home for more than 10 years didn't really end so well and he even teamed up with his best friend. At 32 years old and only playing in 87 total games in the past two seasons, the Bucks' championship aspirations all rides on Dame's health and their championship window isn't open for too long. Lopez is 35, Middleton is as old as Dame and Giannis turns 30 soon. In fact, only one of the Bucks' rotation players is under the age of 22. And as we all know by this point, championships aren't won on paper. There's been a small trend going on recently in the NBA. The past three years around that quote unquote, bought super teams don't really pan out. We saw it this year with the Denver Nuggets winning the title, then last year with the Warriors, and ironically in 2021 with Giannis's Bucks. So if one thing's clear, it's that loyalty is still alive in the NBA, as long as it wins you championships.